So in this video, I'm going to show you uh, some monitoring for Starlink uh, using Home Assistant. And this is actually some things that finally occurred to me as I was working through some Grafana stuff. So uh, there'll be a couple things I wanted to show real quick. I'll show some dashboards. I'll show you kind of how to do this. But let's start with the performance. So you can see uh, this is running, uh, I believe, now every 15 minutes. I changed it after the blog post uh, that I had put up. I'll link the blog post in the show notes where I showed some of this. Uh, and so it looks like I'm getting about 93 down, uh, about 7, almost 8 up, and I'm getting about a 43 millisecond uh, latency, which is not terrible for satellite. Uh, what I've added, though, here is I've added a binary sensor. I'm actually going to show you how to do this. It was very simple. It did require a reboot of Home Assistant. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Home Assistant, um, check it out. I'll link the project in the uh, sh show notes, or sorry, in the, uh, the description. Um, great project. I use it for a lot of things automation-focused. Uh, and so most of these are built in. This one I actually created, but it was just based off the documentation. So you can see that there's been a few outages, and, and all this is doing, I'll show this in a moment, but all this internet uptime is doing is this is actually running a ping test uh, every, I think it's one minute or one second, I'll have to double check. Uh, and that's running against 1.1.1.1, uh, which is Cloudflare DNS, which is fairly, um, a fairly reliable uh, ping test, I've noticed. So I'm just keeping an eye to see when it's, uh, you know, if it's down. Because I want to start tracking some of this, and, and I also have some other dashboards that, uh, in fact, let's take a look at that. So this is over 24 hours. So this is some of the other dashboards I built, and let's hope that this shows up. There we go. So this is still populating, so you'll notice this is a little behind. I just wrote this today uh, as I'm recording this, obviously. And then you'll notice my speed test. And so you can see here, as I referenced in the blog post, so I was doing it every... Uh, one minute running the speed test. I've now changed it to 15. Uh, here you can actually see where it happened, and so you can see that my speed, you know, it's, I'm, I'm getting pretty decent reliable speeds. Um, I am going to post more stuff on like actual real world use cases. I just wanted to get through some of this. Um, the other thing is, you know, some of these, uh, this is off the speed test ping, so this shows, you know, kind of the latency piece of it, uh, not so much the uptime necessarily, although you can probably extrapolate uptime from some of these where you get super high latency. That's probably a good sign that we're either very latent or we're uh, dropping a lot of connections. Now I, I did create this as well and I'll show you how to do all these. Um, this one is not accurate. Uh, you'll notice we're still populating data here so we don't have a full week's worth of data. We don't have a full week's worth of data on this one and this is where I was actually doing some experimentation uh, with uh, network bonding and so it actually captured some stuff that I didn't really want. So um, as this get goes further it'll be more accurate but I did want to show how how to do this, it makes it uh, much, much easier. Uh, so, and what I've done here, just to be clear with Home Assistant, so this is not my production Home Assistant, this is actually running separately, it's running on a virtual machine, um, and I've just downloaded their their uh, files to, to do that, and I'll show how, uh, I'm not gonna go through that piece. Um, I've also colored the dashboards in the way that I uh, I like them, um, and I'll show you all those. So let's, let's start with um, remote connectivity, though, because that's really what's gonna matter. And so what I've done here, if you come into Supervisor, I did some some digging, and and really what I found is Home Assistant doesn't have the way to do the reverse VPN, and that was kind of a challenge. So uh, I started digging into Zero Tier One, and, and I'm not going to go into details on how this works. Essentially, it's just brokering a connection, uh, you know, between two, uh, you know, basically creating a a virtual uh, network between the two. It's not quite a VPN. It's similar to how a VPN would work, but slightly different. Didn't require the port forwarding which I was struggling with because they didn't have port forwarding. So you'll notice these are the only two add-ons that I have, uh, file editor, and I'll show you why in a moment, and zero tier one. Now I actually run this similar configuration on my production network, uh, but you know that has a lot more integrations. So I have those, and then I'll show you one more um, integration. So if I go under configuration, I did actually also add the speed test integration. So everything out of the box, that's all I've done. There is one other thing, and so, so let's start with internet uptime. So zero tier one you set up, um, the file editor you want to install, very simple, and then you just add speed test. Uh, oh, one thing I wanted to show is on my options, I have now changed to 15 minutes. Um, you can change this to whatever you want, um, you know, in minutes, of course. So the one thing that I did for the internet uptime, and again, I'll post this piece in the, uh, in the show notes, I'm sorry, in the description. 
Stand by, we'll let this load. So all I've done is I've added a uh, binary sensor, and, and this is all on their website. I just pulled it from the Home Assistant website. Uh, I'm using platform ping. The host is the 1.1.1.1. I called it internet uptime because that's what I wanted it to be. Uh, it just runs one ping test, and it runs it every second. So that just tells me it's essentially running continuous ping and dumping it into the uh, Home Assistant database. Probably would not do this on a production system uh, this often, but because this is a test system, uh, I really wanted to gather that data. The data was more important there. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to, we didn't make any changes, so it doesn't matter. So let's come back to the overview. So, oh, we just lost. So I'm wondering if we maybe um, got caught up in a bit of latency. No, looks like it was just a bad download. Okay. <laughs> So let's just look at how we set this up. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go ahead and edit this dashboard. So I'm gonna add a new card so I can show you all of this. So we're going to. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna create a new tab uh, so that we can actually have a new dashboard. And so we're gonna call this uh, demo home because that way it looks like the other one. And that's it. So I'm gonna save that. And so now within this demo home, I'm going to go ahead and add a card. So I want this to look very similar to the other one. And so you'll notice I just create a gauge card. And I like to separate them. You can, uh, for the gauge, you only get to do one. So we'll call it, it it's already named what I want it, so I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, unit, theme, these things are not necessarily relevant to me in this case. Um, and so, you know, the minimum obviously is zero. And then the maximum is what's the maximum speed. So in my case, um, because we don't really know, let's go 250. And then I'm gonna define severity. And so what this does is this allows me to color it. And so for me, uh, zero obviously, you know, if it, and actually in this case, let's just say if it drops below 50, we'll call that red. If it drops below, you know, if speed's less than 100, let's make it yellow. Because our target speed, well, let's actually, let's make that 75. And because that's a pretty decent speed, and then let's just or better, we're going to call that green because that's really good speed for now. Now we can always adjust these later. And so let's go ahead and save that, it'll take it a second. So we'll add another card, we're going to do the same thing a gauge, we're going to do speed test now, upload because we want to get our upload speeds. So minimum, of course, is zero, uh, maximum, we'll just leave it 100 because if we're going to get that high, that would be. That would be insane. Uh, so let's start with red. So if it's, um, let's say if it's below five, it's red. If it's below 15, it's yellow. Because this is your, remember this is your upload speeds. So, and then if it's above, uh, we'll call it 20. So it's still down because it hasn't hit 15 yet, so it's still on the red side. So we see that that's now working. And then let's go ahead and add a couple of more. So we're going to add this other gauge here, and it's going to be the ping time or the latency. So uh, maximum late, we'll just go between 0 and 100. We'll define the severity. Um, so basically, if latency is, um, so let, let's start with green. This in this case is a little bit different. So if latency is uh, less than 10 milliseconds, that's really really good. If latency is less than 20, that's not so great. If latency is, uh, let's just say above 40, because 35 is kind of where we're targeting. So you'll see that we just turned red, and and that's just showing us that you know hey, could be a lot better. So the other thing, let's just go back to the home dashboard and look real quick. I just So we kind of did the same thing. I can move these around a little bit. So I actually like uh, my upload and download. I think I put those next to each other. Yeah, so I put those next to each other. And so let's fix that. And it's a little funky how it sets these. There we go. So now I have download, upload, ping. So now I'm going to go ahead and add that um, a history graph that's going to show me the ping test. And so we're going to call this internet uptime. Uh, we're going to show for now, we're just going to show one hour uh, for the last hour. And then we're going to go pick our, our sensor. 
And so you'll notice, let me find it. Ah, uh, here it is, internet uptime. So it, I did have to restart this when I put that into the file. I'm, I'm sure I could have just reloaded, but um, I, I'm just gonna use this binary uh, sensor and that, that's literally all it is. Uh, refresh intervals, I always like those to be about one. On more hours to show, so this now just gave me that. Now one, and so now I have these. Uh, I, I have the dashboard built. So now, if you'll notice this one though, this is a very you know this has kind of everything in a in a histor historical graph. So now I'm going to go ahead and add one more, and so this is where it's a little different. So I'm going to call this demo speed test over. 24 hours, Oops. just for consistency. So I am now going to put this in panel mode. And what panel mode is, is if you'll notice, it, it's the first card is full width. So the, I just want this to be its own tab. That's just how I like it. Um, so I'm gonna add a history graph. And so we're gonna add a couple of things here. And so we're gonna show, uh, did I say 24 hours? I said it 24 hours, okay, good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, we're gonna hit history graph, and we're gonna call this uh, speed test demo. And we're gonna show 24 hours, refresh interval is gonna be uh, every minute. Actually, in this case, we'll make it every 15 minutes since that's, uh, that's what we set up uh, as our uh, as speed test times. So let's go with uh, the downloads. And we'll add another one that is for uploads. And so you'll notice there because they're you know they're similar, it'll um, they're on a similar scale. It'll just overlay. So now I can add my ping, and look, see this will give me since it's milliseconds, not megabits per second. It's actually going to give me a separate one. And then the other piece that I'll do is let's see if we can add the internet uptime to this one. Let's see what that does. So let's save that. And so you'll notice now I have my internet uptime across the top my speed test up and down. And and I can replicate the same thing. Um, I can I can put this wherever. I just like this to be full screen because this is what I will um, this will likely display on a tablet or, or some kind of a monitor so that I can keep an eye on these things uh, over time. And so this is going to give me my my uh, uptime settings. So I can you know I can duplicate this, change the times if I want to do the over a week, if I want to do it over broader periods of time. And really uh, super simple um, to do and did not require any coding, did not require any real knowledge. Um, I actually realized all this as I was, uh, you know, as I was looking at the, the history grams. And so I'll, I'll um, as I was looking at the, uh, if, if I come into here, so okay, there changed, oh, wrong one. So it still hasn't changed yet. So I realized this as I looked at the history gram here that I could just do the same thing on the Lovelace dashboard. Uh, and so that that's, where it, it kind of the idea came from, so that's why I've created these, um, and, and I'm just doing these because I want to show you uh, some simple ways to monitor your bandwidth, and especially with Starlink, that's going to be important to monitor uptime as you're using this. Um, so we'll do a little more performance uh, monitoring, but you can see here I'm getting, you know, I've had some latency as I showed you, uh, but latency's been, you know, overall been not terrible. Uh, speed's been pretty good. Uh, looks like we're getting, you know, and, and again, just keep in mind that this is a poorly placed. Uh, Dish. I'm actually going to do the install hopefully uh, this weekend, and so then I'll be able to get some videos up with some better performance results. But I just really want to show everything that I'm doing as I go through this. Uh, again, if you could uh, hit subscribe and like if there if this helps you at all, um, e even if it's not for Starlink, and if you have other tests you'd like me to run, I'm always open to uh, constructive feedback and you know just uh, just trying to do this to help out more people and for all of us to uh, to learn a little bit as we go. So thanks and. Uh, Hopefully I will uh, see you all in the next video.